Hello everyone, welcome to uh, a daily run on April the 1st, April Fool's Day. Um, I was racking my brains before I started this trying to figure out what quiet it would be that Edmund had in store for us for April Fool's Day. I was thinking maybe at the end of the run we would get no score, or maybe you would be trapped in a room forever and it would be like, lol, you have to quit. This I don't know about, this is a, obviously a, an April Fool's character, maybe some form of keeper? Yes, I believe we're playing the keeper, so we have store key, so we can get into any store that we want to. We have a penny, now, no one will have seen the keeper. The keeper is basically the new loss, it's almost impossible to deal with. You have coins instead of HP, and you only have two of them. You can't take any deal with the devil, well, you can take any deal, oh, fudge. Um, you can take a deal with the devil provided it doesn't actually kill you, but it's not like the lost where it's free, it does cost your HP, so um, we're going to be pressing our spacebar on every single room and hoping that that provides us with some sort of, well, with a penny for that room. Uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty shit. I'm assuming this is entirely curated, which is to say that everything has been selected for us. Oh god, help. Uh, all the item rooms are going to be determined by His Holiness. Edmund McMillan. Uh, we did okay there. Whew. Um, yeah, so we've got to go to Megastan. Which is uh, an interesting prospect because I have only beaten Mega Satan as the Keeper once and that was an outrageously strong run which started with Proptosis and moved on to things like Death's Touch and had all the tiers upgrades and things that you would expect. Uh, I don't want to use that there. It's okay, it didn't actually give us a tier, uh, a coin, so that's okay. You want to use the, um, you want to toss the coin on the room as you enter it, because if you get hit on that room, you want the coin to be available on that room. It's only a 50% chance of giving you a coin, but there it is now. So if we get hit on this room, there is a coin available. In fact, I'm probably going to backtrack a little bit, try to, uh, pick up the coins on the, uh, earlier in the floor. But why is it that we have hair when we walk forwards and backwards but not at any other time. I do not know what this is a reference to uh, here with the beard and that. It's entertaining nonetheless. Um, I was wondering whether the Keeper would ever actually show up on uh, dailies. I was suspecting not because it's an unlockable character. I mean the Lost is technically an unlockable character but it's unlocked in uh, in Rebirth rather than Afterbirth, so... Uh, it is slightly more understandable that the Lost would be available for these um, these daily runs, and of course, all the daily runs you do have everything unlocked anyway, even things that are unlocked by beating the Keeper. So, it's not surprising having the Keeper available. What's more surprising is that the Keeper has not actually shown up yet um, for, for any other dailies. It's a very difficult uh, thing to do, so we're going to be spending our time here I expect we're very unlikely to be fighting Hush or necessarily even Boss Rush. Simply because, well for a start, getting that far is um, going to be a certain challenge. But this being a curated run, it's probably either going to be designed to be super difficult, or it's suddenly going to flip at some point and be super easy. Or it could literally just be random, and I could be completely wrong about that. Incidentally, because you don't have any HP, <laughs> Did you see what just happened there? Oh no! I should have gone back to the item room. I picked up Mom's pearls, but it gave me magic mush. So I should be picking up this shit all the time. Oh, I wish I picked up Anakin's cookbook now. I was thinking, now nah, that's bullshit. No one wants that. That is actually... A <laughs> that's a, a well played, Edmund. Well played. Uh, I am a wizard. Thank you for asking. Oh, that's, that's supremely, fundamentally funny bone type hilarity there. So all of our items are not what they say they are. None of these things are just like themselves. How we... can... Just wear off. There's our key. So I think we'll go to our item room because we don't know what it's going to be. Oh, this is hilarious. I'm loving it. We... it says it's Death's Touch and it is in fact... <laughs> Sad Onion. Cool. Okay. I mean, it's still a pretty good item. It was pretending to be a good item, and it is a good item. That's not our secret room, which is quite surprising. 
Which means it might be that one down there, which is uh, annoying because I don't have any bombs left because I chose to take the penny, the, the nickel instead. Well, uh, I wonder what the Anarchist Cookbook turned out to be. Because the fact that Mom's Pearls turned out to be uh, Magic Mushroom is outrageous. Maybe all of the items have already been selected what they're going to look like, and therefore um, what they actually are underneath. Uh, we can't get hit here. We can get hit here just once, I guess. No, this, this could give us a deal with the devil. You can get deals with the devil, and you can take deals with the devil. Um, the question is... We don't know what the item's going to really be that's hidden behind what um, Little Horn gives us. So it's pretending to be Blue Cap. We can't take uh, Mom's knife because we will die. So we won't. <laughs> and I don't want the other one, so I don't care. Uh, that was actually... Um, that gives us trinkets, which we don't really want. Uh, we've got the shop key. We can go into the shop, so let's do that. This could be a slow run. I would expect not to even necessarily be able to get to uh, the to boss rush. I want to go to the curse room, but we can't afford to really. It's, it's quite a difficult character to play, so I expect us to be slow just for that exact reason. I was hoping to get some more money, but there is no more money, which is unfortunate. Uh, more money. Nickel. Oh my god, it was a fucking... Oh, you absolute twat. <laughs> uh, there's a penny. Can we get a bomb, turn that nickel into enough money to... I don't think we can, can we? There is a bomb, though. Let's use a bomb. Turn this nickel... What am I doing here? This is the min maxis we've ever been. I want this fucking nickel. Of course, the, the bomb costs the same as the nickel now, think about it. Um, I had it in my brain that the bomb would be three cents. Uh, it turned out not to be. No batteries. Damn it. We might as well take this. Oh, we can't. We can't have it. Um. Excuse me? <laughs> what is happening? We've now got. Uh, okay. We'll just keep going until we get something we want. I do like this, actually. We'll take the scissors. Um. Store key would have let us get into all the other stores, obviously. But since they were changing every time we picked them up, which is really sweet, I wonder if that would happen to. Um. Do you reckon this is. Uh. Do you reckon this is randomised? Like, do you think the items we're getting are completely random? Do you reckon they're selected? We're going to have to watch other playthroughs to see what other people got uh, when they picked up the items. I mean, I expect the items that we're looking at are seeded, right? But the items that we actually pick up... That's going to uh, turn into two bombs. Yeah, perfect. That's what this trinket does, by the way. The items that we actually pick up could be completely random. That would be very interesting. And slightly annoying because some people would get super strong runs and super, some people wouldn't. But the fact that the trinkets also randomise themselves is really cool. At least the consumables aren't randomising themselves. That would be really annoying. These flies, by the way, because we don't have HP, any HP that drops or is already in the room when you turn up immediately turns into flies and comes to hang out. What have we got here, then? Uh, we've got... Oh, my God. We just picked up triple shot, even though we already fucking have triple shot. So now we've got sextuples shot. Which are firing once every five goddamn years. Oh, I didn't use that quite early enough. That's okay. Remember to use the penny when you go into the room. Not that Penny appreciates that treatment. Oh, I don't want to take anything anymore. I mean, if it, if it turns out to be... Are they all going to be passive items? If it turns out to be uh, an active item, can we keep picking it up until we get an active item that we want? Because, I mean, now that I think about it, the active item that I want is uh, is wooden penny, because we can... wooden nickel, because we can use it on every room. And hopefully give ourselves that little bit of extra HP. This is outrageous. It's intensely entertaining. I have no idea what to do. We did get a penny here, so that's really nice. If you um, if you drop a nickel and you need a penny to heal yourself, you you will pick up one penny of the nickel and keep the other four, which is really nice. You don't have to use the entire. Oh, you did. So there we go. That's probably the first time I've been hit. Maybe the second. So far. I don't like this though. Ah, help. 
I may die here because this is turning out to be a quite difficult fight. The uh, pestilence fight on the flooded caves when it sh shoots out those uh, drowned buggers. Well, it's quite difficult. There we go. We've got our cube of meat, but of course it is in fact... Mom <laughs> range. Okay. Uh, I mean, do we explore? Maybe not. We found our item room and... Uh, I would like to find an actual key so we can go to the shop. Maybe get something worthwhile. I'm going to explode all of these. No, I'm not... Oh, let's just use this. This will actually heal us. And we'll go to the shop on the next floor if we can find the two keys. I don't want to spend any time on any of these floors, because A, we want to go a little bit faster to try and get to Boss Rush in the first place, but every room that we do could turn out to be the one that kills us. Trying not to get hit here, but I don't really know how. So we could gamble on uh, getting a better trinket. Don't necessarily think that's a good idea. I have selected this trinket as being the one that will save us from various, well, troll-based tr troll traps. But also, it gives us bombs, and bombs are going to be extremely useful to get into it's just places, I suppose, to find ourselves some pennies. There's some bombs right now. Find the secret rooms, which could get us into curse rooms. Which may be the case here. Let's have a look. Up here? No? It could be. Find out. No, but it's worth trying. Definitely worth trying. Uh, we also want to try and do the boss trap room, so that would have been ideal for, for both of those situations. Unfortunately, it was not to be. Our rate of fire is so low, I am basically picking my shot and going for it. Which is something I've talked about before, but this is possibly the most extreme example of doing that. I'm basically artillery. I reposition myself and then fire again. Still no damned keys. Let's just explode these and see if we get a key. Should really be using my um, my wooden nickel in every room because it's a one room charge. There's no excuse not to. You know, it could be a, it could turn out to be an extremely difficult room, and then you'd be glad that there's a penny on the ground that wasn't there before. Can't get into here, which is unfortunate. I think we probably go to the shop, because there's a chance we can... Oh, there's three fucking keys and nothing else. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a chance we can get a key. Yeah, we can get nothing but keys, if that's what you're into. Don't let me judge you on what you're into, but seriously. We actually got a little Loki. Well, that's not very good. <laughs> I suppose we're going up there. Poisky, poisky. Well, we have six shots at once, which is reasonably entertaining. Are you sure that's not a secret room? One of these has got to be a secret room. Maybe there are no secret rooms as well. That'll be entertaining. This has got to be the damn secret room. I'm sure, I've checked here. All right, fine. How about here? We've got bombs are plenty. There could be none. Push button. Penny is good. Jesus. There is a penny here. That's actually really helpful because the stain is a super difficult boss fight half the time. We can tempt him to pop out and do the other attack, which is not this attack. I'm just going to hang out behind this poop. Uh, don't mind me. Talk amongst yourselves while the stain stops picking about, pissing me off. Yeah, if you get to do that attack, it's ideal. One more. One more. Got him. Got him. HP upgrade and an angel room. The angel room contains a thing that will give us flies a lot. Uh, there's no point fighting the statue. I don't think we can get anything good out of it. Oh, it's not HP though, is it? It's anything at all. So we actually got PJs and nothing for the rosary. Are you kidding me? wonder what we got for the rosary. Unless that was HP. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. Uh, okie dokie. We'll move on. I'm triple, double, multi-guessing myself right now. It's outrageous. I don't know... How many times is that going to happen? Excuse me? Plenty of... Um, <laughs> That's got to be an April Fool as well, right? At, at least you can count on Edmund to have not just an April Fool's run, but for it to be just endlessly April Fool's. That was three chests. That was a chest in the chest, in a chest, and it had a key in it. We could swap out this trinket, but I'm happy with it. Um, it gives me the opportunity to actually try for secret rooms. And it's given me a uh, triple shot on top of triple shot. That was bad. Oh, shit! Where did I get the Bible from? Oh, I just realised what happened. I picked up the rosary, forgetting it wasn't really the rosary. It was the Bible. Now I've got the GD Bible. I can fly. 
That at least gives me a small opportunity to pick up coins that are across chasms and things, but... Oh, shit, man. What's this? High Priestess. That could be really helpful. Don't press it. It says it's $3 bill. It's not $3 bill. It's the bloody peeper. You can't get hit. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> that was a hail of bullets. You saw that shit. Well, we were equivalent on time and uh, damage, so there's that. <laughs> what was this run? That was outstandingly good fun. Not because it was hard or entertaining. It was just... I love a mindfuck. That was brilliant. And putting that coin down and not realising... I bet everybody who was watching saw exactly what happened, and I had no idea. I was oblivious to it, because you walk in, you take the item, you leave, right? Unless it just switched it out and the item wasn't on the pedestal anymore. But then if I'd picked it up again, it probably wouldn't have been the coin anymore, so... <laughs> April Fools, I guess. Good luck with that, motherfuckers. Well, thank you for watching, and hopefully tomorrow's run will actually do what I <laughs> think a run is going to do. Uh, die early, obviously, but, you know... It will be what it will be. Good day.